artificial hybridization. So here uh, crossing between different plant species to get a hybrid variety having a better characters when compared to the parental plants is called as hybridization and if that process is done artificially we call it as artificial hybridization. In this process actually this mechanism is employed by the plant breeders to get a new variety of plant species which is uh, showing better or we can consider that uh, uh, vigorosity of the plants can be increased or to get hybrid vigor or to increase the vigorosity. So here what are the steps which have been employed by the plant breeder uh, while doing the artificial hybridization means the first and foremost step is they start the selection of the parents. So generally the parents which have been selected the male parent and the female parent the parents will contain the bisexual flowers. So particularly when it is a female one in the female flower uh, there is a possibility as I said that a female flower female plant is also a female plant is also a bisexual flower containing one. So what they will do means the female parent what they will do means they will remove the anthers. So the removal of anthers or the stamens from the female parent is called as emasculation process. So what is the need of emasculation means as the female parent contains the bisexual flowers there is a possibility of uh, self pollination. So to avoid self pollination to avoid self pollination emasculation have to be done. After emasculation so the female flower or the female uh, flower uh, now we consider it as a female flower. So the flower of this emasculated uh, uh, the emasculated one have to be covered with a plastic cover. So that is called as a bagging process that is called as bagging process. So this bagging is done to avoid unwanted cross pollination. Then the pollen grains from the selected male parent are uh, re taken with the help of uh, either brush or uh, butter paper and these pollen grains have little to little bit have to be brushed on the stigma of the flower of a uh, female parent and after doing so that is what we call it as a actual artificial hybridization process. With the help of the brush or butter paper the pollen grains have to be collected from the male parent and they have to be brushed on the stigma of the female parent and uh, this process is called as artificial hybridization and after artificial hybridization also once again we have to go for bagging we call now it as a rebagging process. What is the need of uh, rebagging after doing artificial hybridization also means there is a there is a possibility of further uh, transfer of pollen grains from some, some other plant that is the reason why they are going for rebagging process and after rebagging after some days what happens the pollen grains will germinate on the stigma and they produce a pollen tube the male gametes will uh, fuse with the female gametes leading to the formation of embryo and uh, endosperm and ovules are converted into seeds. Now whatever the seeds which are produced we call them as hybrid seeds. These hybrid seeds are uh, sown to produce the F1 generation. So this is a way how this uh, artificial hybridization is helping in uh, producing the new variety of plant species. It is not like that whatever the first generation which we are getting here contain all uh, hybrid characters. So it have to be done for uh, many number of generations such that the possibility of uh, hybrid characters will be increased in the plants. So this is a way how this uh, artificial hybridization will help in increasing the hybrid nature or increasing the better characters in the plant species.